so in order to check whether this is working or not we need to create builds right so let's go inside package.json file and if you remember we have already installed electron builder library so in that particular case i'm gonna use i'm gonna write one script inside and let's say package and electron builder i'm gonna simply use electron builder like this all right that's pretty much all and so we are done with our third step as well let's move on to our fourth step in which we will have to edit our package.json file all right so let's quickly copy this object and we'll have to add this build object inside of our package.json file so i'm going to use this all right And let's put comma after it all right so let's see how it works so first thing that we will need to provide here is we'll need to create a build object and inside of it it expect it expect publish object right we'll need to change owner and repository name and the provider will be same thing owner will be different so I'm going to go inside of my GitHub account and I'm going to check my profile and you can see my profile name is JHM164. So I'm going to put that here. So it will be JHM164. And the repository name, we don't have any repository at the moment. Let's quickly create it. So let's go inside of repositories and I'm going to create a new one. All right. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to provide name of our repository. So in this particular case, I'm going to use same name, which I gave to our folder name, right? Okay. So we, so this, so this name is available. All right. So let's keep this as a public and I'm not going to change anything else. Let's quickly create this. So now we are done with creating our repository as well. Now the next thing that we need to do here is we need to set up our github token so let me explain you why this is important well okay in order to release new versions of our electron application we will need to push that changes in the github repository but since the github repository is protected and we can't provide our password all the time so that's the reason this token comes into handy so we need to create this token once and using this token electron builder will automatically push all the updates in our github repository all right so let's quickly see this in action so in order to create that token we'll need to go inside of profile and let's go inside the settings and here you will get to see one option which is developer settings let's click on it so let's click on personal access token and I have already created few tokens, but I'm going to create a new one. So let's generate a new token and here you will need to provide your password. So let's try to create new token. Let's generate new token and here you will need to provide name of your token. So it could be anything. I'm going to give it a name auto update help. And make sure that you have given all the rights because this token will require rights to push code in the GitHub repository. So in that case, while creating this token, you should allow that rights. So I have checked all the check marks and I'm going to generate this token. All right. So token is ready. So let's quickly copy this. And this token is one time token. Make sure that you have copied this and I will not recommend you to save this anywhere. So just keep it somewhere handy so that you can easily access it later on because once you refresh this page this token will be disappeared all right so now the next step that we need to do is we need to run this powershell command and this command will add new environmental variable where this token will be available all right so let's so let's quickly do this so i'm going to open powershell so here is the windows powershell and we will need to run this as administrator otherwise this command will not work all right so powershell is ready now so i'm going to paste this command so i'm going to copy and and 
it seems command executed successfully just to okay so just to verify whether this will work or not let's go inside of envi let's quickly search for environmental variables and and here we need to check environmental variables so since this command is putting values in the users users environmental variable so we have to check here so as you can see we have this gs token variable here so that means our command works successfully now here we need to add one get ignore file and inside of it let's add node underscore modules and we also don't want to push all files which has extension .exe and whenever we will run our build command it will create a dist folder and we which we don't want to push so these things will come later on but this configuration is important because otherwise your node module folder will also get pushed in your git repository and that will be the nightmare all right so we have initialized the file now it's time to commit our changes so let's put git add space dot all right if you want to check git status you can put git status and here you can check node modules folder is now ignored only this file will get pushed in our github repository oh, all right so now it's time to add remote origin let's quickly copy this and let's paste it here now the origin is also added now let's quickly commit our changes all right and let's quickly hit git push command so this command is not working because we don't have to specify any branch name because there is no branch at the moment so we'll keep we'll keep this command without branch name and let's put master as per the suggestions all right so our code is pushed now let's quickly refresh to see whether these files are okay so now as you can see these files are available here so now we are not done with yet because if you see it here there is a releases section and if i open it there is no release at the moment right all right so we'll have to create a release in order to update our application all right but before that first thing that we need to do is we need to create a build of our application but we can't just go with electron builder command for the for that purpose we'll have to put one more flag which is publish always right and that's pretty much all we require so we forgot to change our repository name let's quickly copy its name and let's paste it here we have already updated our owner name so now we are good to go here right i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye